Beetlejuice. The fading flame of a stellar titan for millennia, humankind has turned its eyes to the night sky, captivated by the shimmer of distant stars. Among the most prominent is Betelgeuse, a glowing red beacon in the Orion constellation, massive, enigmatic, and now more intriguing than ever. This cosmic giant, hundreds of times the size of our sun, has long fascinated both professional astronomers and casual stargazers. Its reddish glow, distinct even to the naked eye, sets it apart. But recently, Betelgeuse has become the center of intense scientific focus. Not for what it has always been, but for what it might soon become. A sudden surge in brightness, with its luminosity increasing by as much as 250%, has triggered speculation across the astronomical community. Such a dramatic change could be a signal of an impending transformation, a supernova, the explosive death of a star. A star on the edge Betelgeuse sits about 640 light years from Earth, close by galactic standards. It's classified as a red supergiant, a late stage in the life of a massive star. These stars are known to live fast and die young, ending in spectacular explosions after exhausting their nuclear fuel. The journey of Betelgeuse began millions of years ago in a dense cloud of gas and dust. Through the process of nuclear fusion, it spent most of its life converting hydrogen into helium. But in its current state, it's fusing heavier elements, carbon, oxygen, and soon, iron. Once fusion reaches iron, the process can no longer produce energy. With no force to counter gravity, the core collapses, triggering a supernova, an event so powerful it can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief time. Signs of change back in late 2019 and early 2020, astronomers noticed that Betelgeuse was dimming rapidly dropping in brightness to an unprecedented level. The event sparked worldwide attention. Many thought it might be a precursor to the star's final collapse. But the mystery only deepened when Betelgeuse returned to normal brightness. One leading explanation was that the star had ejected a large cloud of gas and dust, temporarily blocking its light, a kind of stellar belch. Soon after, however, Betelgeuse began to brighten again, not just slightly, but significantly, beyond anything recorded in recent times. This unexpected behavior raised the question again, is Betelgeuse nearing its end? What happens inside a dying star? As red supergiants like Betelgeuse burn through their remaining fuel, their cores become unstable. Elements heavier than helium are fused in layers around the core, each stage more volatile than the last. Eventually, iron builds up. But iron fusion consumes energy instead of releasing it, causing the core to collapse in on itself within seconds. What follows is a supernova explosion, an immense burst of light, heat, and energy that spreads elements into the cosmos. The remnant could become a neutron star, or if massive enough, a black hole. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, the event would pose no danger to Earth, but it would be an unprecedented scientific opportunity. The explosion would be visible in broad daylight and remain in the night sky for weeks or even months, a spectacle not seen in recorded history. Scientific vigilance Betelgeuse's erratic brightness isn't the only clue. Infrared observations show possible dust plumes and massive surface convulsions, while studies of its rotation and shape hint at deep internal activity. Gigantic convection cells churning blobs of gas larger than our entire planet, bubble and burst across its surface, making the star strange signals from a giant. What JWST reveals recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have unveiled startling new features in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. High-resolution imaging has detected powerful plasma jets erupting from the star's surface, along with large zones of asymmetrical gas distribution suggesting something deeply turbulent is happening beneath the surface. These findings point toward severe internal forces, possibly deep convection currents or magnetic disturbances, that are tearing through the star's outer layers. This kind of behavior isn't just rare, it's indicative of a star in the final stages of its life. Yet, despite these signs, the exact timing of Betelgeuse's collapse remains an unsolved riddle. Silent watchers of the collapse while the visible light of Betelgeuse tells only part of the story, other observatories are now preparing to listen for deeper signals. Neutrino detectors and gravitational wave observatories, 
Tools designed to sense invisible tremors in the cosmos are on constant alert. If Betelgeuse's core collapses, it will release a torrent of neutrinos, ghost-like particles that move through matter virtually undisturbed. These neutrinos would reach Earth hours before any light from the supernova does, providing a crucial early warning system. Similarly, a sudden ripple in the fabric of spacetime, a gravitational wave, might also precede the explosion, letting astronomers know that the giant has finally fallen. This coordinated global monitoring is an example of how far space science has come, from simple observation to full-spectrum readiness for a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. Not if, but when in cosmic time, the word, soon, loses all meaning. While the recent brightening, surface distortions, and strange emissions from Betelgeuse seem ominous, it's entirely possible that the star is still tens of thousands of years away from its final collapse. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are known for their dramatic and unstable behavior. Their enormous size means that their outer layers are loosely held together, allowing them to convulse, dim, brighten, and belch out stellar material without necessarily reaching the end. Some scientists caution that what we're seeing may be part of a previously unknown long-term cycle, rather than a death throw. Others point to magnetic disturbances or the possibility that Betelgeuse may have merged with a smaller star in the distant past, throwing its structure into temporary chaos and increasing its brightness. In short, Betelgeuse could explode tomorrow, next year, or 100,000 years from now. Its timeline is written in stellar code we are only beginning to understand. A rare cosmic spectacle but if Betelgeuse does go supernova, the sky will never look the same, at least for a while. The explosion would be brighter than anything humans have seen in modern history, possibly outshining the full moon and casting shadows on the ground at night. During the daytime, it would be visible to the naked eye, hanging in the sky like a second sun for weeks, an awe-inspiring reminder of our place in a living, changing universe. The last time humans saw such an event was in 1604, when Kepler's supernova lit up the heavens. But that supernova was over 20,000 light years away, Betelgeuse is only 640. The entire world would watch and wonder. Telescopes on Earth and in orbit would swing into action. Space agencies would race to capture data, from gamma rays to X-rays to gravitational waves. Scientists would collect petabytes of information as the event unfolded. News networks would cover it non-stop. The moment would belong not only to science, but to all of humanity. Children would learn about it in classrooms, artists would paint it, poets would write about it, and future generations would remember the time when the stars moved before our very eyes. Death and rebirth in the cosmos despite the chaos of a supernova, there's profound beauty in what follows. The violent end of a massive star isn't just a destructive force, it's a